Hey guys, welcome to our very first vlog. Uh, today we get to thank Dineo at Diary of a Reformed Debtaholic.wordpress.com and Tamron at IWantToDodo.com for the inspiration of this new content that I'll be creating. Uh, so today we will be talking how to unwrite yourself from a reading rut. So the reading unwriters. So I have a few that I would like to suggest. Um, use them, don't use them, but I will put all their titles uh, below and in on a screen somewhere, I'm sure. I just want to let you know if this video is horrible, you get to blame Dineo and Tamron for it. <laughs> anyway, hi Dineo, hi Tamron. <laughs> so here goes. So first up, I'd like to suggest the Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. This is definitely a life changer and definitely on one of the 100 to read before you die. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful story narrated by death um, and he's never been busier set in 1930s Germany. It is, it is absolutely epic. Um, a book thief is a person who obviously steal bo steals books and this is you know, the story of Liesel who learns how to read and it's just, it's really beautiful and I have a lot of friends who always suggest this book. Uh, the movie, obviously with Jeffrey Rush, is, is also just as epic. So this is really worth a go. Then I'd like to suggest Oh The Places You'll Go, Dr. Seuss. This one is a definite given. Um, oh, the places you'll go, I found um, while merchandising bookshelves back in the day. So this is his hilarious rhyme and I know one of my friends absolutely hates him and I know who you are and you're probably watching this so I'm really sorry I get to suggest it. Uh, but, but yes, Oh, the places you'll go is just one of those gifty books and a great classic to go back to. Then, and you have to excuse my very, very tatty copy, um, this is Life in a Refrigerator Door. I think I picked this up for about 12 bucks on an exclusive book sale. Um, and this is a book filled with notes, uh, refrigerator notes, um, uh, between a mother and a daughter. I read it in about two hours and it was, it made me cry and sob and laugh all at the same time. Um, it deals with cancer, love, and ultimately when time is going to run out. Uh, also worth a go. And the reason I suggest it um, is because it's really, really simple and easy. So if you're looking for something just quick, this is worth a go. But you are going to need the tissues, believe me. Then this one is definitely, definitely worth a mention. <laughs> Chris Van Veek utterly, utterly stole my heart um, and I got the pleasure to meet him a few times and work with him a little um, on some of his children's books and um, Eggs to Lay, Chickens to Hatch. Unfortunately, uh, Chris died last year so he never really got to finish his legacy. But this is a beautiful, beautiful, heartwarming, compelling, honest story of, of South Africa and apartheid and it's set in Euclid in Coronationville and Rivoli and it's about this young boy Chris uh, so it is a memoir and it is non-fiction and probably the only non-fiction I'll recommend um, but it's really really worth a go. <music> the Collected Works of AJ Fickery. Uh, do not get um, deceived by the the title it isn't short stories and I know how difficult that is but it is a collection of AJ Fickrey's favorite short stories which he leaves for Maya who is a baby left on his bookshop uh, doorstep and it is it's really beautiful and there are extremely extremely extraordinary characters in this it'll make you laugh and cry and just absolutely fall in love with the book again so definitely worth a go. Then an author I am always always depending on for something new fresh and funny is Marion Keys and and I cannot help but always go back and as much as a fan as I am of her I still haven't managed to read everything of hers uh, so I always go back as you can see it is a rather tatter look looking copy 
And while Sushi for Beginners isn't my most favorite out of her um, out of her collection, I do think she's worth a go. She's really light and funny, especially her earlier stuff. This Charming Man and anybody out there are the heavy, heavy recommendations I can give. Uh, and yeah, she's just really compelling and hilarious, so one to watch out for. And then ultimately a book that set me on my path on literature, Atonement by Ian McEwan, and I'm so sorry, I did get this on sale. <laughs> It is the film tie-in because I did lose my original cover. Um, but this, I have to be the only person in the world who absolutely adores this book and absolutely adores little Bryony and Celia and and Robbie Turner. I just, I got lost in Ian, Ian McEwan's writing. Uh, his descriptions are epic and compelling. And I just, I really, really adore this. Those are my reading unrutters, uh, kind of books that I go back to when I'm feeling a little bit lost and disorientated in a world of everything that is happening all at once. Also, it's very difficult to find a book that you can champion. Um, so it's always nice to have favorite, favorite list to go back to. So let me know if you want to see any more of the vlogs. Uh, you can email me, uh, all my details are on the contact us page, or uh, you can leave a comment underneath, or you can g simply give it a thumbs up is what for YouTube. So here we go. Thanks for bearing with me guys. And, and for me, happy reading.